What are we drinking? You were drinking an Orchard uh, Boulevardier. Oh, who hit record? I did, so we could get your juicy bits. You're so sneaky. <laughs> <laughs> So um, what is in an orchard? Bou- well, why don't we just Bou- kick this thing off and what then we can ask. How do you say it again? Boulevardier. 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 That's much better. <laughs> We're already rolling here. Okay. No, oh, no. No. Oh. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Booze on a Budget with the Horror Squad. Welcome. This is a holiday special. Yep. We're drinking... A hot cider drink. A hot cider drink called an uh, Orchard Boulevardier. <laughs> yes, an Orchard Boulevardier. <laughs> <laughs> Boule- <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna, I don't know what's in it yet. Uh, what's in this thing? Okay, it's orchard. It's bull. Mm-hmm. It's got um, your hot apple cider for heated warm. It's got um, like a Campari, which is an Italian bitters. Mm-hmm. It's got a dry sweet vermouth. Mm-hmm. And it's got some shots of uh, whiskey. Ooh, it's... But it smells boozy, but it also smells... It smells like Chinese herbs with a hint of apple. It's very interesting. It does have... Like a very herbal smell. Medicinal values. Yeah. Mmm. I feel like I smell citrus. <sighs> but... You definitely smell the whiskey if you hold, hold your nose over it too long. <laughs> yeah. It does smell good, though. Cheers! Happy holidays. Happy holidays. Whatever holidays you saw. We good? I I guess. Merry Christmas, everybody. It's Hanukkah. Mm -hmm. There. Happy Hanukkah. We ate of them. (laughs) Hanukkah. Hey, everybody. Uh, Welcome to a quickie review. Um, I was just in the mood for a seasonal festive drink and the ones that I kept pulling up on the internet looked too complicated and had too much sugar and I didn't want to buy I just wanted to drink something with whiskey in it so oh you got more rebel yell yeah rebel yell it's your favorite it is just wanted you to be a little happy for the season so um our dear friend Stacy Rose that sometimes is on reviews she makes this a lot um this is a apple it's a Orchard Boulevardier, which basically is hot cider with some mixins. So hot cider, warm it up. I don't, it's not have to be boiling hot. Sometimes you can throw some cinnamon in it. It smells nice. Mm-hmm. I, we didn't have any. Oh. And I didn't go to the store. It's not in the recipe. It's just something we started doing. <clears throat> it has a little shot of Campari, which is this, uh, I think it's an Italian bittery thing product of Italy and it says bitter on the bottle it's red uh, I don't know it's interesting and then some of this martini dry vermouth which is a little sweet and even though it's a liquid it says it's dry and then you're supposed to in 99.9% of all recipes you are supposed to um, use rye because this is a sweet drink but I, I didn't want to drink rye after my one cup of Orchard Boulevardier. Oh, so I, I do too, but I wanted to buy this instead. I looked at the rise, and I have a rye at home. I just, I'm just gonna try it with this. So we threw in some of this Rebel. It's a high proof. Uh, we reviewed it a couple weeks ago. 56.5% alcohol. It's delicious. It's delicious, and I figure we're gonna drink most of it not in apple cider. Um, 
So you can put in other things, but you are supposed to put in rye. I don't like being told what to do, so I screwed up the recipe. Oh. It smells interesting, huh? It smells like... It's like linseed oil. Mm -hmm. It has like a weird... Reminds me of my oil paint set up. Yeah, it's Not probably the same. It's probably made from the same thing. <laughs> Probably toxic. toxic. It's got cadmium in it. Yeah. Oh, yours went off too. No, ignore our phones. No. I can't reach my phone. Should I put anything? You been saying anything? No. Yeah. Um, Nobody wants to text me. It's bitter. Yeah. No. It smells. But see, they put it just on little drinks. If you mm -hmm. ever seen Life Aquatic, with Bill Murray, he drinks it on the rocks. He drinks the Campari on the rocks all the time. It looks great. We should try that. It's like a big glass of. Heart. Yeah, look too bitter or not. So. Okay. Cheers. Cheers. Right. Ooh, it's strong, but it's good. It's good. I would totally drink this again and again. It's a great winter drink. It's like warm and it's toasty. You got that slight little tingle of a warmth going down. Yep, this is what you pass around at a family event if you're trying to take out some of the older folks. <laughs> <laughs> and it's not like, I always prefer slightly sweeter stuff, but it's not overly sweet, which is good. No, it's really tasty. Yeah. I think it's a delicious yeah. holiday inspired drink um, to share with friends because you can make a big old batch of it. Yeah. You know, once. You get wasted. Keep it hot on the stove. With ten or ten or less people, because <laughs> of COVID. No, I say we pa we pack it out. <laughs> this drink is the cure. It's been here all along. Yeah, you just can't spill it because I'm sure it can get a little sticky. <sighs> That's Jeez. probably gonna sticky. That probably won't go over well. The algorithm's gonna pull us for saying we had the cure. Oh uh, yeah, we're talking about the band. Well, <laughs> <laughs> we we've been listening to the Cure <laughs> all along. <laughs> <laughs> That's what's coming out. It's the Cure's new album. <laughs> it's gonna. So I imagine all we're gonna this. put some ingredients on the screen. Yeah, I did like a pre-shot, and then we add them out. And yeah. out so follow the ingredients. Make some to share with your uh, family, friends. Yeah. Or just friends, or just family, or, or just yourself. Yeah, because you deserve it. Treat yourself this <laughs> holiday season. Good job. Thanks. It's interesting. Yeah. It's got some strange flavors. It does. There's a lot going on. Yeah, it's it's fun for seasonal, and you heat it up, and you can sort of ladle it into people's cups. Now, you can add more of the Campari and vermouth to give it more tang or other flavors. I just added more bourbon. Um, Needs more bourbon. Yeah. But I don't know. I'm not a big... Apple cider juice person. Yeah. I don't like juice. Well, I could have just drank that. Yeah, you have to juice it real quick. Paid $50 for the cider, so we drank all of it. <laughs> Why? I didn't. Um, <clears throat> it's just a nice drink to have. Uh, you can put it in like a crock pot and put it on simmer and bring it up, put some uh, cinnamon in it. Sometimes people cut up an orange and you can slice an orange and throw it in there. Mm -hmm. I just didn't go buy one. Like blue vine? But yeah. Without the wine. Yeah, without the wine. And I, like I think wine. a lot of times what they do is they actually put a orange twist on this. Mm, the essence of they... just the edge. Of, yeah, and they rim it. They beat it and rim it. Beat it and rim it in, with orange. And I didn't go to the store for anything. So okay. I just went to the liquor bar and I got us some more whiskey. That's all that matters. Mm -hmm. Christmas Day is Friday. Yeah, are we yep. having squat? No. We can do Saturday squat. You don't want to get out your pajamas on that day. I don't wear pajamas. Just naked? Um, so thanks guys for watching a quick drink review.
Um, I have the urge to try more drinks that we put whiskey in, or we got all this vodka now, so we need to Ooh. make vodka. I was thinking of some vodka drinks, too. Just drink vodka. Yeah, but there's all these cool drinks that you can do with, with it. They look cool. I don't know. We'll see. So thanks for watching. Please share, like, subscribe, and share. Sharing is important. Um, try the Orchard Boulevardier. Um, there's another version that has uh, gin in it, I think. I can't remember the name of it. Or I do know the name, but I'm not going to say it. Um, so watch. We will be reviewing some more whiskeys, actually, in about a couple minutes. So Yay. have a good Hanukkah Christmas. Enjoy your Lockheed potato pancakes. Mm. I guess you